so here we are back with the weekly top 10 and this week I decided to bust out the top 10 personal favorite found footage movies of mine and you know before we get started I'm going to go ahead and say I didn't put Cannibal Holocaust in here and I think I think that's kind of a safe choice it's kind of a go-to choice because it's one of the originators of the format but a good hunk of the movie isn't found footage so <laughs> That being said, I tried to stick to the movies that kind of are found footage from start to finish. So, just something I did. Uh, I admit that that was a great movie that deserved to be on the list, but it's not on this list because of that. Also, I didn't put uh, Lake Mungu. I believe it's Lake Mungu or Mungu Lake. One of the eight films to die for on the list. I would have, but I don't own it. So, <laughs> didn't want to cheat. So, with that being said, let's begin with number 10. Grave encounters now grave encounters to me was pretty darn good uh like way better than i did the sequel which i thought kind of lost the whole point of the first one it kind of riffs on the whole ghost hunters type thing that was real popular during the time it come out so if you've not seen that one it's found footage but it's got a good story and it's pretty creative speaking of creative that brings us to number nine the den towed entirely off a camera on our leading lady's computer uh, the screen capture is basically the movie when it happened that was the first one I'd seen that way I know several more has been done since then but I think this could be the originator of the computer screen capture movie and it just keeps going and it kind of gets you near the end of it so that is a very good one hard watch but a good one this one has kind of become played out over the years because of how many of them they are now and it kind of put a sour taste in people's mouth but paranormal activity gets a spot here because the first movie is actually pretty darn good and uh this was probably one of the last found footage movies that i know of that ever actually tricked anybody into thinking that it could have been real or at least it did people where i'm from maybe they're just stupid i don't know but i remember people were like well you know that's true and i'm like yeah it's true so the ghost brought him back to kill him several more times in the alternate endings on here so either way that's that's number eight Number seven, one of the only good Bigfoot movies out there exists. I mean, can you really name me ten good Bigfoot movies? I want to do Bigfoot ones, but I only can think about a handful of good Bigfoot movies. But this would definitely be near the top of that list, and it makes this list because they're hunting Bigfoot and uh, they find him. Or maybe they wouldn't hunt him, but nonetheless, they come across him. It's good. It's been a while since I've seen it, but, you know, it's also got roots in the found footage thing there with the... Uh, Blair Witch Project directors there on it. Number six, VHS 2. The only one in the series I think that ever really truly nailed the concept of VHS, VHS tapes being found with point of view type stuff on it. Like, yeah, maybe the first one did that, but this is the only one that did it and did it good. Number five, one of the harder watches probably. For uh, anybody to watch, especially if you know somebody who does have uh, dementia, which this plays a part on here, Alzheimer's, it's the uh, taking of Deborah Logan. Is it because of her symptoms? Is it because of something else? Ain't that a creepy little eye thing going there? Uh, I don't know why this isn't on Blu ray. This should be on Blu ray. It may be in another country, but I remember watching this one. I didn't expect much going in, but I was really blown away by, by what I ended up getting with it. So that definitely deserves a spot on the list, and everybody should see that. I think it was on Netflix for a while, but I'm not sure if it is now. Number four, again with the creative and creepy uh, going on here with the bay, parasites infecting people, turn them into mindless zombies, that little feller right there. Based off a real fact of a parasite that did that to fish, uh, I don't know about y'all, but that kind of creeps me out a little bit. That's number four. Number three, Old Reliable, The Blair Witch Project. This came out during a time period where I believe there was internet, but it wasn't necessarily like it is today. So I at one time thought this was actually a true story when I was growing up, and a lot of people did too, which made it all the more creepy. Heck, even sci-fi got in on it and did like a documentary based on it. That was a fake documentary. So that one, probably the OG, sorry, last broadcast fans, but this one here to me is probably the originator and the innovator of the found footage film as we know it. But still, just number three because... It gets it for its clout, but if you really think about it, it uh, it kind of just makes people walk around lost in the woods. Number two, Cloverfield, the innovator of the viral campaign. 
because I remember like all the clues that come out online before this movie came out. Everybody trying to figure out what it was about. I was trying to figure out what it was about. Many people thought it was about the end of the world. Of course, that would come later on with the Jerusalem found footage film. But uh, it ended up being a you know a Kaji movie, big giant monster wrecking stuff in the city. And I went and seen this first night in theaters, loved it, and it's one of my favorites today, obviously. And number one, mild reliable for found footage and creepy films, it is the original Wreck. Now, I could have put two on the list also, because I think two is great, but one to me is just the epitome of horror when it comes to found footage, because it's it's not dull, it isn't one of those where it makes you wait to the last minute before something happens. It's pretty much from start to finish, balls to the wall type stuff. And that is repeated again in the second one. Maybe even better than the first one, but I'm giving the nod to the OG. So, there you are. There you go, and there you are combined. There you are. The top ten found footage films, according to me. Pardon the mess over there to the left. I'm kind of doing these in a hurry because I don't want to miss a week. So, there they are.